not to cuss, right? But one teen's crusade against bad words becomes a global mission. CNN's Cara Finstrom with the story. Okay. Cool. McKay Hatches, 15, doing spots on Jay Leno, running the celebrity circuit. It's kind of cool being in the green room, you get free soda and water. <laughs> and interviewing live right here on CNN. What do you think about getting this much publicity? I mean, it's great because it's just, you know, spreading my word more and more. Hatch's rock star status was launched by a message he feared might be considered uncool. When I got in middle school, all my friends started cussing. Friends were using, you know, every other word. He was like, everybody is using the cuss words. They feel like um, if they don't, that, that they're not cool. And I said, well, I think you have, you know, a choice. So I challenged my friends and told them, you know, if you want to hang out with me, I don't want to hear you cuss. Hatch's friends not only stopped, they wanted to influence others and started a no cussing club. Words have a lot of power. I mean, they can determine where you're going to end up going in life or who's going to be your friends. The little club Hatch started here at his high school caught on. Other schools started forming their own chapters, and his club has now swollen to more than 30,000 members, students from all 50 states and all around the world. Hatch has a website, a book, even a rap song on YouTube. If you want to hang with us, I don't want to hear cuss. Don't cuss. Don't cuss. And his hometown of South Pasadena has declared this no cussing week. People can really do get their point across without cussing. Hatch believes the same self-control students show by not cussing can help them later say no to other social pressures like drinking and drugs. Great job. This kind of is what keeps me going. But there's also been a backlash. Offensive emails, online taunts, even death threats that have gotten police involved. Hatch won't be bullied into silence. Words, he says, are just too important. Say positive things someone have always, instead of always, you know, tearing them down, you know, hopefully you try to use language that's going to uplift people. Cara Finstrom for CNN, South Pasadena, California.